This is Ella Sri Lanka. We're going to show you the best things to do and what you must watch out for. A leech on me! Go away! We have just 24 hours to pack everything in and we're starting off early. Today we are climbing up Little Adam's Peak for hopefully an epic sunrise. We've got about 500 meters till we get to the top. We've just arrived for sunrise and it's actually a little bit bright. We've got a little bit of color in the distance. The great thing about this viewpoint is you actually get a 360 degree view of the whole area. So behind me just here, that's Ella Rock, which is another famous hike you do. It's about two hours from the town. It was honestly so busy at the top. There's probably like a hundred people or something. I actually came to Sri Lanka five years ago, came to this spot for sunrise and there was literally no one else here. So it's definitely getting more popular here. So we're going to try and climb down this little thing and then over to this little peak over here. It probably doesn't even look that steep on camera, but it is very steep. Look at these little people here. It is actually mental. The cloud is just rolling in so fast. Look at the cloud. It's literally sweeping through this valley. Getting a bit tired now, but it does look amazing here. The view you can see here, all this goes all the way to the sea, the Indian Ocean. The beach. The beach. How much? 250. 200. Yeah. Okay. Just one, I think. Oh, share one. Yeah, yeah. This is a much needed drink. It's so good, it's so sweet. Mm. That fresh coconut has done me so well. Right, we've got about a 40 minute walk back into Ella Town and then we're gonna get some breakfast because I'm starving. Are you hungry? I'm starving. So this area is known for leeches and Amelia has been quite scared, but look, we've just found some blood. You've been leached. I've been leached. Gonna die. Well, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> fine. They're but actually harmless. I though. never even saw it. It's just, I've seen blood and it wasn't there this morning. So who knows? We leech off. We're just coming up to Ravana Pool Club and Swing. Have, check this out. What? This guy's mental. Whoa! <laughs> so all around Ella and this part of Sri Lanka are full of tea plantations. And Sri Lanka is actually very famous for its tea, Ceylon tea. As you probably know, I am British, but I'm not actually a big fan of tea. I'm more of a coffee person. Everyone thinks we all drink tea, but I'm more into coffee. Well, nice We've just come into the barn for breakfast and I've got this smoothie bowl. Look how big this is. It looks incredible. I've got some waffles with banana and yeah, it looks good. Yum. Oh, my so, belly's full of coffee. <laughs> We're heading up to the railway station. We are going to a very famous spot here. Oh my gosh, I've never walked on train tracks before. <laughs> This feels wrong. This is Ella train station and we are just walking along the tracks, which you definitely couldn't do in the UK, towards the famous spot. You probably know what it is, the Nine Arch Bridge. I hope the trains are noisy because I don't want one to just come behind me. Walking on railway is dangerous. True, but it is allowed, it's just dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the only way to Nine Arch Bridge, it's just the fun away because you get to walk along the train tracks, which feels completely wrong, but you can actually walk along the main road or get a tuk tuk, and I think it's like a 30 minutes the other way from Ella Town. It's a rep. It's a rep. I think we messed up a little bit. We got the tame train times wrong because we can hear the train coming and we're not at the bridge. I'm a bit scared of the train coming. <laughs> ah, it's coming. <laughs> ah! That was honestly so cool. It's so atmospheric with everyone like cheering and waving out the, uh, the train doors and everything, but Definitely make sure you check the train times and be early and just prepare for it to be late. We definitely messed up. We thought it was coming at 11.30 and it was here at like 10 past 11. Yeah, and try not to be in the tunnel at the time of the train because that's probably a bad idea. We have reached the tunnel. Into the tunnel. Spooky. Oh, echo. Echo. Oh, we're here. here we are. Finally got here. Oh, I can see it. We have just reached the bridge. This place has changed so much. It's actually crazy. When I came last time, there was like a couple of hearts, a few sellers, but now it is super busy. I've seen so many photos of this place on Instagram. It is actually so beautiful. There's just greenery everywhere. 
second coconut of the day, Kamen Rider. Coconuts are so good. They're really sweet here in Sri Lanka compared to like Southeast Asia, Bali. So we've been really lucky and apparently another train is coming in about 10 minutes time. So we've just come at a lucky time where there's two trains very close to each other because normally they're at least like an hour and a, an hour apart. So yeah, waiting for the next train. We're heading back along the train tracks now, back to Ella Town. But I must say, if you are coming on the train trackway, just know that it is definitely the longer route. I think it's taken us about 40 minutes to get back or something, because it goes right around. It's not a direct route. This railway network is really old, and it doesn't just go from Kandy to Ella. It goes all the way from Badula, which is higher up in the mountains, all the way to Colombo Fort. And that's because um, it was made to transport tea from the hills, because obviously, there's, as you've seen, there's tree, tea plantations all around here and take it all the way to the ports to take back to England. And that's kind of why it was built in 1864. So a very long time ago. There's a leech on me. Go away. Ah, this guy. I don't want to get bitten again. I got bitten this morning, didn't I? Somehow. But I think I'm all right. Pretty typical. I went in the long grass for literally three seconds and I had two leeches on my shoe. Luckily I got them off before they got to me. But yeah, just be careful. There are so many leeches here in Ella and we heard about it before we got here. So just keep that in mind. The weather has been pretty dodgy whilst we've been here in Ella. So we are taking our chances before hopefully the rain comes as it usually comes in the late afternoon, evening time. And we're heading to a very special spot, which should be pretty cool, a little bit different. We're going to attempt to take the local bus to get there, but um, we've taken a few of them so far and they have been pretty crazy here. Here we are, we have just arrived at Ravana Falls. Let's go have a look at it. It should just be around the corner here. 14p each for that journey. Ah, uh, it's just around here. Just be around this corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Doug. Oh wow, look at it. It's huge. As it has been raining so much here in Ella, unfortunately we can't go swimming. So if you came more in the drier season or when it doesn't rain as much, then you can actually swim in these pools, but it would be way too dangerous. It's so powerful. Here we go. We were a little disappointed we couldn't go swimming in the Ravana Falls because of the rain. But now, this guy came up to us and said there's another waterfall you can actually swim in. So we're just going five kilometers up the road and hopefully we can swim there. Which way do we go? Yeah, so we're just following this guy now to this waterfall, this unknown waterfall, secret waterfall. So right up here, that is actually Little Adam's Peak where we were for sunrise this morning. Here we are, so it was 100 rupees each for the entry fee. And hopefully, I'm thinking we could swim in this one. It's gonna be cold, isn't it? It is gonna be pretty chilly. A little bit of a sketchy walk, but uh, we have finally arrived. Can Should we, we have a look down here? here? So this is the first falls, and then we're at the top of the second falls, which apparently was 27 meters. What? Look at the drop. Okay, I'm about to go in the waterfall, but I'm pretty sure it's really cold. Three, two, one, woo! This is a very refreshing waterfall. I highly recommend coming here. Not much further than Ravana Falls. There's no one else here. This is crazy, look at the views out. It's like a big old infinity pool here. As you would have seen on the drone, wow. This waterfall is just one level of like four levels and it just keeps on going. And each level just keeps on getting bigger the further you go down. We're not gonna go further down because it's about to pour down as it is like getting into the afternoon. So we're gonna head back now to Ella. Yee -hee. Yeah. As you probably see, there's like these little wires here. And that's because you can actually abseil down this waterfall. There's a guy at the top who's like, do you want to abseil down it? And we're like, 
Uh, maybe not today, maybe another day. I've just looked at the name of this waterfall on the map because we actually had no idea and it's called Palawella Waterfall. So if you want to come here, it's only about 10, 15 minute drive from Ella. Highly recommend it. Yeah, very good, thank you. Thank you. Happy? happy. Yeah, very happy. Let's just take you around where we're staying. We're staying at Oak Reach Cottages, which is just off the main road. It's up a little bit of a steep hill, but it's such good value and so close to the town. So this is our little balcony. It is pretty nice. We've got beautiful views around here, and then we'll take you inside. Welcome to our room. So we've actually got, oh, <laughs> we've actually got quite a big room in here. We have a mosquito net. We have a proper duvet, which is nice because it is a little bit cooler here. And we have our own bathroom. Pretty decent size as well. Yeah, this shower is actually really nice. Warm water, it's all good. That's all you need. You definitely need the warm water here in Ella as it is a little bit colder, probably because there's been a lot of rain as well. For just £14 a night, I highly recommend staying here. It's such good value for money. I'll leave a link to it in the description. We've just been chilling for the last hour, but it's kind of opening up and not quite as rainy now. So let's go show you another spot in Ella. We've just arrived at the tea factory because obviously, as you know, they grow a lot of tea here in Sri Lanka. As Brits, we obviously have to try some tea. We just entered the tea plantations. We've just had these baskets put on us and we are about to try and pluck some tea. Look at me. Good. Enough here. Like this one? Yeah, yeah. Up here. Okay, throw it in. All of these in. Ready? Oh, they completely missed. Oh, did they? All of them went down there. Left hand check. Yeah, yeah got yep. them in. Nice. Woo! <laughs> You're looking great, David. Yeah, it's, it's a good look, isn't it? <laughs> I'm away, oh. Amelia. I'm going to win this. David's looking to win the tea collecting competition. You put it in, put it in. Yeah! When you're picking the tea, you actually have to pick the light green ones and just like the top three or two leaves. And that's what makes a good tea. That was such a cool experience, like picking the tea and learning about how tea is actually made and picked and that there is actually a lot of hard work that goes into drinking just a normal cup of tea. Right, it's time to taste some of the tea now. Cheers! How is it? Well, that definitely tastes different. This one is the most caffeinated one and is what you'd have in the morning. Yeah, that's definitely stronger. We've had a great time in Ella. I just can't believe how much busier it is here than five years ago. There are so many little cafes and restaurants popping up and there is so much construction going on here. And it is probably the most beautiful place in all of Sri Lanka. Unfortunately, one of the big problems we've had here in Ella is the rain. It's been every afternoon, the showers just come. And so we haven't actually done one of the big things to do here, which is Ella Rock, which does look incredible, but obviously we don't want to go up in the clouds. <laughs> one thing you definitely need to watch out out for is the leeches. They are everywhere and we've been wearing DEET bug spray because that should deter them but just keep out because they're lethal. Come to Ella as soon as you can because this place is seriously blowing up quickly. Anyway thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Don't forget to go down there and hit subscribe. It helps us to keep on traveling making more of these Sri Lankan videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Oh there it is.